Please introduce about yourself. Yeah, my name is Madhu. And I'm from Andhra. And I'm proper to chase Nellur. And I'm here to be a B-Tech. So, you've got a lot of engineering colleges, right? What made you to come all over from AP to Chennai Sai University? Yeah, there are a lot of MSET-based and Mains-based universities. Like NAT, Thad Apple, and Maya. But I didn't attempt MSET. But I didn't attempt MSET. But when I was in the first year, I was in the first year, I was in the third year, fourth year, I was in the third year, I was in the third year, I was in the third year, I was in the internship, so I was in the university, I found SAI. So, when I was in the first year, I was in the first year, I was in international standard curriculum. And I have applied for European universities in Vilnius country. So, if you look at the curriculum, it's almost 90% of the same. Not 100% same, but the university is not the same. But 90% is not the same. So, this is the best thing in India. Faculty, you know, vital role plays in the faculty. Vital role plays in the faculty while selecting the college and also infrastructure to some extent. And also research facilities that what the college is providing and placement assistance. In that aspect, what do you say about SAI University? So, faculties here are a global exposure faculty. And our vice chancellor and chancellor are very known and uh, play a pioneer role in this university. Uh, Vice Chancellor Ajit Abraham sir is a world 2% recognized scientist in the world. And our Chancellor sir has established many, con uh, many uh, companies as an best entrepreneur like Nescom and all. And uh, one of the governing authority who is Mr. Uh, Narayan Murthy sir has been the key role in this university for providing placements and all. So, uh, Based on the global faculty exposure, not only the vice chancellor and the chancellor, but many teachers here who teach very basic subjects are also very experienced in global exposure and all. Mm -hmm.